Where do you get your protein? Protein, protein, only meat has protein. Hello, it's Andy here, and today I want to talk to you guys about a common question that I get asked. I'm sure a lot of other vegetarians and vegans get asked. You already know. What do vegans get asked? Even meat eaters know. The concern is where do we get our protein, right? Where do you get your protein? Where do you get your protein? Protein, 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 protein. Now, this myth has been debunked, like, over and over and over again by different people out there but a lot of people aren't familiar with those people so since you're familiar with me I'll just explain to you my position on protein now when first of all people ask me where do I get my protein I have two reactions my first reaction is you know damn well you don't care about my health you know damn well you're not concerned like why do people suddenly want to become concerned for vegans or vegetarians when they start making healthier choices. If, if I say I want to start eating more vegetables, more fruits, I want to start getting more healthy, then the question comes, well, where do you get your protein? What? You eat at McDonald's. You shop, you go, you shop at Walmart. Like, you get your food from, like, the most egregious places. those facilities and those places but you're concerned about me <laughs> that's funny but that's my first reaction my second question is well what are we talking about like which protein are we talking about here because there's two types of protein there's animal protein which nobody likes hearing about and then there's plant protein um there's animal protein, then there's plant protein, and they're both very different in pH balance. Animal protein is extremely acidic and high in sulfur. Plant protein is alkalizing. Now, our bodies, naturally, the human species, we have to keep our bodies in an alkalizing state. So that's the proof right I mean, that's the proof right there that we're supposed to be, that we're not supposed to be eating this stuff, animals, um, or products of animals. That's just, that's the first sign from Mother Nature, but apparently a lot of us missed it. Um, but it's just really striking to me that plants keep our bodies, and the human body is supposed to be a pH balance, it's supposed to be a steady pH balance between 4.5 and 5. Um, 5.5. Ew, I learned that in cosmetology school. Ew, 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 Okay. Uh, water. I'm not into the bottled waters because, you know, I don't like to contribute to, like, plastic and crap, but... So when people ask me where I get my protein, my question is, which protein? Now, if it's one thing that you should know about foods that are acidic, is that it leaches calcium from the bones. And the reason that is, is because once that acid enters your body, automatically your body freaks out and tries to find a way to neutralize the acidity. In order to neutralize the acidity and keep the body in an alkalizing state, the body has to leash calcium phosphate out of the bones. That's why countries that consume a lot of dairy also have the highest numbers or death rates of osteoporosis, or a lot of people suffer from osteoporosis, which is bone loss. And the reason why people are losing so much bones is because they keep eating these animal foods, which are acid foods and the body doesn't respond properly to acid foods and so it tries to neutralize that and the only way to neutralize the acidity like I said is by leaching, leaching calcium out of the bones
we pee out the calcium. So it's kind of like you end up with a net deficit of calcium intake because the calcium, it's leached out of your bones and you peed it out. And so now you're calcium deficient or you're at risk of becoming calcium deficient or you're at risk of osteoporosis. But here's another thing that you all should know that is probably the most important thing to take away from this video. As long as you're eating food, it's impossible to not get the proper amount of protein. In fact, I would argue that we don't even need to worry about protein. Protein shouldn't even be an issue because how, how is it that the countries that consume First of all, our problems don't have anything to do with deficiencies. Our problems have to do with excess. Our problems have to do with what we're getting too much of. And if you just stop what you're doing and just look around and you'll notice all the sick people in the world and you'll notice that there's a correlation between health and what we're putting into our bodies. And so it starts with that. It's not genetics, cholesterol, saturated fat, the dairy, the meat, the ch just all of that. All of that adds up. It all contributes to our, I mean, at the end of the day, we're our own worst enemies. So I just wanted to inform you guys about that. And um, is there anything else I missed out? I don't think so. Oh, just came back from running some errands, and on the way there, somebody decided to drop dead of a heart attack on the train, which caused a big delay. You know, when I told my guidance counselor that uh, somebody dropped dead of a heart attack on the train, she was like, oh my god, really? Somebody died on the train of a heart attack? I'm like... Are you surprised? It's the number one cause of death in America. Like, people are literally dropping dead. My advice, I always tell people, like, shouldn't have been eating animals. Like, you just shouldn't have been eating animals.